Hi, this is Venkat Narayana from Sunya Technologies. Today I am going to discuss about perfect numbers within range in C sharp. This is continuation for part 45. Find given number is perfect number or not in C sharp. Please go through previous video before going through this video. What is perfect number? A perfect number is a positive integer that is equal to the sum of its positive divisors excluding the number itself. For example, 6 is the perfect number. Factors of 6 are 1, comma, 2, comma, 3, comma, 6. We need to exclude 6 and add remaining factors 1 plus 2 plus 3 equal to 6. Now the sum of factors equal to 6. Now 6 is the perfect number. In this program, if we provide input as 10,000, then we need to find factors 6, 28, 496, 8128 are perfect numbers. Here we have steps to write a program. First step is read input from command prompt, launch Visual Studio and create console application. Console dot write of please provide input value. We need to read input value from command prompt. Use console dot read line. Console dot read line and assign to integer variable int input here read line method returning string but we are trying to store it in integer variable we need to convert string to integer using into dot parse method into dot parse of console dot read line next step is declare for loop to iterate values within a range and then declare method to find factors we need to get multiple perfect numbers so use for loop for int i equal to 1, i less than or equal to input i plus plus and declare method find factors of input i. Now we need to provide implementation for find factors method. Here public static int find factors of int input. Next step is implement logic to find factors of a given number and then declare for loop and check input value divisible by value from for loop and then later return factors for int i equal to 1 i less than input. Here we are checking condition like i less than input. Why we need to check why i less than equal to input is if you want to find perfect number we need to exclude input number so here we are writing i less than input that means here we are excluding input number i plus plus if input modulus i equal to 0 then that number is factor we need to add all the factors so here we need to declare one variable int sum equal to 0 sum equal to sum plus i here find factors method returning integer value but we didn't return so we are getting error as not all code pass return a value we need to return integer value return sum here find factors method returning integer so store it in integer variable int result here we need to check condition if result equal to input then that number is perfect number if i equal to result console dot write line i is perfect number we will execute this program without debugging that means control f5 please provide input value 100 6 is perfect number 28 is perfect number control f5 1000 6 is perfect number 28 is perfect number 496 is perfect number we will debug this program to understand the flow of the execution put breakpoint here and here go to debug start debugging or f5 and later click step into or f11 so start debugging f11 please provide input value 10 enter 
here i is equal to 1 1 less than or equal to 10 true here we are passing i value to find factors input is equal to 1 i is equal to 1 1 less than 1 false it exit from loop here sum is equal to 0 input 1 equal to 0 false that is not a perfect number like this it will continue here i is equal to 6 6 less than or equal to 10 true f11 we are passing 6 input is equal to 6 i is equal to 1 1 less than or equal to 6 true then 1 is a factor add 1 to sum now sum is equal to 1 i is equal to 2 2 less than 6 so 2 is the factor then 2 added to sum it will continue up to this condition true yes sum is equal to 6 result 6 now i is equal to 6 and result is equal to 6 both are same so it is a perfect number we are getting output as 6 is perfect number we will start debugging Control F5, 10,000, enter. We are getting output as 6 is perfect number, 28 is perfect number, 496 is perfect number, 8128 is perfect number. That's it for today. If you like this video, please share with your friends and subscribe to my YouTube channel for future videos. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.